Welcome back my friends, Baker is my name and Tekken 7 is the game. I'm here to go over Alyssa Boskanovich. We're going to do a punishment guide on her this time. We're going to go over everything launch punishable, anything we can knock her down, jab punish, or we can flash in the middle of. Let us begin. And first up on our list we have 2, 3, 4, a high, medium, and then low string. It is negative 19 on block, allowing Yoshimitsu to get a wall rising 2-1. Uh, you can also flash this move because of her invasive properties on it. Up next is 4 plus 2 into 1. This move is about negative 20 on the block. Yeah, 20, negative 20 to negative 19. It does have a bit of pushback, so a crouch dash 1 would be the optimal punish for this move. Up next is 4, 1 plus 2 into 3 plus 4 to go into various stances. However, she is still negative on block after the initial mitting hit. Anything after that, she is still very punishable for. Up next is down plus 3. Down plus 3 is her move that she used to get into various stances. Here's a little bit of a tidbit, a little bit of a trick with Yoshimitsu. Uh, it does not matter to Yoshimitsu what she does afterwards. She's susceptible to launch punishes and flashes after this move. This is just a bit of uh, extra gameplay that I have for you. Uh, showing that down three is uh, flash punishable on block. It's also flash punishable on hit. Uh, the time that it takes for her to go into that stance and press a button, she can still be flashed in the middle of it. Up next is down plus four into one plus two. It's a low high string. I just recommend that you guys just duck this and then launch it. Up next is down back plus four, a very cheeky, cheeky sweeping low from Melissa. This move is at least negative 15 on block, allowing Yoshimitsu to get a wall rising 2-1 from this move. A hop knee, or if you can crouch cancel, get a down for it too as well. Up next is back plus one into one plus two. This move is a little bit of a special move. There are various ways of interrupting this move. It all depends on her headpiece. Her head is really good, giggity. So that's going to be the focal point of punishing this move. You will punish this move either by waiting on the headpiece to hit the ground, or you interrupt the headpiece before it even hits the ground, or it becomes a property that will hit you. Up next is back 3 plus 4. I have a bit of a history with this move. This move allows Alyssa to launch you and then hit you afterwards, and she has the hitbox of a styrofoam cup. Uh, there are numerous ways to defend against this move. Back 3 plus 4 is launch punishable on block on its own, but the other 3 plus 4 that comes after it is really the tricky part because that move is safe on block. Uh, various ways that you can't interrupt this move is what I like to do is jump in the air and do a do a mid-air kick to interrupt it into a combo. Not not avoiding the puddle. Yeah that one. There you go, Eddie. That's how I usually like to interrupt it, but this move is very susceptible to side steps. Uh, between any of the tools Yoshimitsu has, the option is truly yours to see what you want to do against defending against this move. This particular section of the video is going to go over the forward forward 3 string and everything that you need to know about it. So, the forward forward 3 string is a mid high end mix up, right? So, unfortunately for Lissa, this can be seen as Yoshimitsu's playground because there are numerous ways, just like the move before, that you can use to interrupt, flash, launch, whatever that you want to do to the string. Because the first hit's a mid and the second one is a high, Yoshimitsu can either duck the high, duck the high, duck punish the high, or he can duck 
the mid, I mean, sorry, duck the high, and then flash anything that happens afterwards. Yoshimitsu can get, he can block the high and still flash in the middle of it. So it's kind of an unfortunate situation for Alyssa with this move. Because you can just interrupt however you want, just so long as you do. And so, it's, so long as you're willing to take that risk. The third option somewhat doesn't matter if you take the right steps to duck that high, or hell, even get hit by it and flash anyway. So there you go. And last but not least, we are going over Wall Rising 1, 2, 3, I believe, or 1, 2, 4. It doesn't matter. It's mid-high, you can duck the high, or you can duck, well, you can duck the high and either flash it or launch it. Your choice. Starting off with the jab punishment section, we're going to start off with 1, 2, 2. It's a high, high, low string that can't be hit for delay, but I think that, that that makes it more negative. It's negative 11 on block. You can get a low parry or a wall rising to Up next, we have 2, 3, 3. It's a high double mid string. Unfortunately, it's only negative 11. You'll need to get a 1, 1 or a 2, 2. Up next is 4, 2, 3, 3. This is just a 3 hit string. It's negative 10 on block, but Flash will beat the third hit string. Up next is 4 plus 4 into 1 into 4. This move is very, very safe on block. However, if you do duck the second hit, you can't interrupt and get a launch for it. Up next is down 4, 3 into 3. A mid low string. You can't get much off of this besides a wall rising 4 or a low parry combo. Up next is down forward one into one into two. It's a mid double high. Uh, the high has a lot of hits on it, but the chainsaws make it safe. If you duck, you can flash this move. Another tidbit about this string, one sword stance can flash this. However, no sword stance cannot flash this move. It actually takes too long and you will get counter hit for your transgressions against the chainsaws. Up next is down 2 into 4. There's also 1 plus 2 after that. That actually doesn't matter as much. This just allows Alyssa to get a mix up. However, this is negative 13 on block. You can get a down 4 of 1 4 from this. Up next is down back three. This move is just one of her cheeky loves that she has. You can't get much off of this move. It is only negative 12 on block. You can only get a wall rising four from this. Next we have back plus 4 into 3, just a couple of set of hits. Uh, typically this is negative 11 on block, however flash and one source stance can beat the second hit immediately after blocking the first one. No source stance will get you hit out of the stance, so just remember to be in one source stance when you want to flash this particular string. Up next we have up back 3 plus 4 into 1 plus 2. Originally, this move is negative 14 on block, you can knock her down for it, but if you can, I want to say go into practice mode for yourself with this string. I tried to flash in the middle of it, and it does not, it didn't work for me. What I could do was interrupt it before the head, <laughs> before the head gets back on her, and then she uppercuts you into the air. If you are able to interrupt it, then try it out for yourself, that's what I want to say, or you can counter hit it in the middle of it. I want to say, just go and see what you can do, but this move is definitely interruptible. Here we have up forward 4 into 4. Not much about this, it's just a couple of mids. You get put into full crouch from blocking the second move. It's negative 12 on block. You can only get a wall rising 4 from this. And last but not least, we have full crouch down forward 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 2. This is just a couple of setup lows. Unfortunately, you can't get much from this from blocking it. Your best option is the low period. It's negative 11. You can only get a wall rising 4. And last but not least, we have her 10 hit combo. You are going to low period the 7th hit out of this combo. Just after the, uh, just after the chainsaws. 
And this will conclude my Alyssa Boskanovich 2.0 Punishment Guide. Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to leave a like if you like. Please subscribe if you're new. If you wanted to invite to the Yoshimitsu Discord or my own personal Discord just to hang out with me and my friends, I will have them both in the description down below. I'll also have the Punishment Index there too. Thank you for watching. More than I could actually say. Dream job, can't wait until I get to do it. A workaholic, the results got me addicted to it. If there's a devil, I don't listen to him. If there's a God, I ain't pitching to him. Cause he know what I don't mention to him. What's the point in praying to him? What would I be saying to him other than complaining to him? Despite his indifference, I'm afraid to lose him. Just looking at me, you can tell that I'm a bad acquaintance. Shit, I got more L's than a Spanish language. Might even join straight cooking on some crazy shit. Cause these days I'm clocking out of work. At